What's going on beach chicks and beasters? This is your girl here, Holly Franklin Beach Chick, coming at you with a new video today. So in today's video, we are going to talk about one of my favorite, all time favorite base exercises, and that is the spider walk. So the spider walk exercise is actually an exercise that I took from an electric guitar video. I can't remember exactly um, what video that was and how I came upon it. I think I was just looking for like exercises for the bass like a number of years ago when I was first starting to play and I came upon this and I really like this exercise because it's easy, versatile, and it can really be used for any sort of stringed instrument. Um, it really is just a fun and different way to play your bass your guitar, any sort of stringed instrument. So I'm gonna show you how to play it on bass. And if you go over to my blog, you will find a breakdown of different exercises to do. This technique is really great to perform all over your fretboard. It's really great to learn your fretboard because there's no specific scales associated with it. But it's really specific notes corresponding to each sort of spider walk, I guess, and I'll show you that. All right, so for the spider walk exercise, I'm gonna be utilizing the third frets, fifth frets, seventh, ninth, and twelfth frets, just to make it easy for you, and I also have it detailed on my website. Now, I'm going to be playing this as if I were playing a four-string bass rather than the five-string bass that I have because a lot of you at home are going to have a four-string bass. So, we are going to begin on the E string, we're going to start with G. And then from there, we're just going to move up one fret to G sharp A flat. And we're going to go over to the A string, we're going to utilize our ring finger. We're going to go to D, which is the fifth fret, and then the pinky, which is the next fret up, which is D sharp E flat. And then we're going to go to C with our pointer. Then our middle, we're going to go up another fret, which is C-sharp, D-flat. We're going to go back over to the E string and play A with our ring. And then A-sharp, B-flat with our pinky. I'm going to come a little closer. And look how you can see that. And then the 
seventh is going to be B, E, and A. B, C, F sharp, G, E, F, C sharp, D. for you to learn how to play and you don't need to necessarily use it for any music unless you find it to be a good fit for a song that you're playing or if you want to compose with it or you just want to have some fun if you're bored it's really fun to just come up with really cool exercises and techniques as I said I got this from an electric guitar video but if you have a cool exercise technique that you like to use i would love to know in the comments below and i can't wait to see you all again thanks for stopping by god bless